We've got a the huge order coming in. We've ordered 90, which is the largest Wherever order we of put it. Wherever we put the A380, yeah. it becomes incredibly popular. We're now the largest international airline and we're very proud of our cosmopolitan nature. We've got crew from over 120 nationalities. The whole of the organisation is very cosmopolitan and we all love travel. So we try to enthuse people about travelling, try to encourage people to travel more and experience new things. So it's, it's really at the heart of the whole air, airline and our philosophy. The more of our world we see, the richer we become. Hello tomorrow. First of all, we thank you for your interest and in all the questions that you have submitted online. Over the next few minutes, we're going to do our best to try and answer a few of these for you. My name's Richard, I'm from New Zealand. I've been with Emirates for the last eight years as an onboard senior flight steward. And my name's Kate, I'm from the UK. I've been with Emirates for the past three years and I work as a grade one in the business class cabin. And we're coming to you today from the Airbus A380 onboard lounge. I want to know why you chose to work for Emirates. Uh, other than having friends that worked for Emirates and they couldn't speak highly enough of it as a company, um, I chose to come over here. It was a company that was developing and very young and still in a, a stage of growth, so that was a, a, a big reason for me coming over here. How about you, Kate? Yeah, same. It's expanding so rapidly and promotion opportunities here are fantastic and there's always so many other fields you can go into other than the cabin crew side of it. It's such a huge company. What is the salary benefits of being Emirates cabin crew? Uh, of course having a tax-free salary is always a bonus uh, and it is very competitive compared to other industries and uh, jobs around Dubai and also the world. And the benefits are endless. We have discounts all over Dubai our staff travel is amazing, the discount. Yeah, I agree. I think you just have to look at our credit card statements at the end of the month to just realise how good our perks actually are. Uh, we actually have a club that is run by Emirates Cabin Crew for Emirates Cabin Crew. That's called our Face Card. Uh, and that gives us a variety of discounts around Dubai and a few around the world actually as well. What is the medical package you receive with Emirates? In terms of medical, we get full medical coverage while in Dubai. Also, uh, we're fully insured as cabin crew when we are travelling abroad and we do get dental cover as well. We do, yes. They do look after us. How many years does it take to be in-flight supervisor or purser? Uh, that can vary anywhere from the operational requirements of the airline to how long you've been here, uh, to yeah, basically how, how good your record is with the company. It's very quick. Promotion is very quick here. It's certainly one of the leading companies in terms of promotion and, and the speed at which you can actually get there. How many destinations uh, that we've flown to? I won't have flown to as many as you, Richard, but I think I'm probably around the 50 mark now, so 50 destinations for me. Okay, 50. I think from memory, Emirates flies to uh, over 140 uh, these days. I think I'd probably be well over 100. Wow, that's a lot of places. How long are the layovers and do you get a chance to explore the city you're in? Ah, after yeah, being eight years as crew, I still get a chance to go out and explore new destinations. Uh, but the main thing for me is like, if I do go to a new destination, I'm able to find places that I do enjoy and then I can take that one that I want to go back to and spend a bit longer there. Yeah, you have plenty of time. The layovers are generally around 24 hours, but some are 48. Can, yeah, and 48 and we have the odd one which is 72, years. but the majority of them, yeah, 24. Yeah, plenty of time to see lots of things and explore the world. Is there a particular haircut that the male cabin crew should have? I don't think there's a particular haircut that we have to have. Uh, I just think as long as we adhere to the grooming standards and you look smart and neat uh, at all times, I think that's pretty yeah. much it. And you do look very smart, Richard. On behalf of Kate and myself, well, I hope we have answered a few of your questions today. And good luck with your application. Cheers. With all the travel that we do, how often do we actually get to visit our home? I go home all of the time. I would say that I get back at least once a month, so I'm there quite a bit. I think my friends and family are actually quite sick of me coming back. And well understand that. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, for myself, but New Zealand being so far away, I do get down to Auckland, but uh, Auckland not being my predominant home, probably get home maybe once a year. But with the travel benefits that we do actually get, uh, our parents are able to come and see us, so it's kind of 50-50, so you still do get to see your family. Yeah, they come on quite a lot. 
Do you view the world in a different perspective living in Dubai? I personally think you can't help but view the world in a different perspective. Uh, we're surrounded by up to 130 different nationalities and uh, Dubai is literally an east meets west uh, place to be so yeah you get a better understanding. I for one have met many people and uh, have many lifelong friends from different countries around the world so it's been great for me. Yeah there's so many different cultures. It is the middle of the world here in Dubai. Should I learn some Arabic? when I live in Dubai or is English enough? Oh, I think it's a very good question. Obviously being in a predominantly Arabic environment, it is good to learn a, f a few key phrases, but Emirates actually do put you through an initial half day uh, small course on a, few, on a few words. Can you get married as cabin crew and have children? Yes, you can get married as Emirates cabin crew and have children. Lots of crew are married with children. Yeah, I certainly have a lot of friends that live over here that have got married while they've been crew and uh, also have kids which they're bringing up here. Which brings me to my next question, uh, where's the ring? <laughs> How is your family life when you live in Dubai? Family life is great in Dubai. I know lots of crew have their wives um, and husbands here. They also have their children. The schooling's very good here, as well as the leisure activities. There's lots to do for families here. It's very family oriented. Definitely. Here. Whereabouts in uh, Dubai do the cabin crew live? Emirates provides Emirates cabin crew with accommodation and it varies. They're all over Dubai, lots of locations. Yeah, that's true. Though. They have a number of buildings uh, scattered around Dubai, uh, but yeah, they're all great accommodation which is provided free of charge. How do we balance our work and personal life? I think it's very easy to balance your work and personal life. We do get a lot of days off in Dubai where we can relax. Um, we also get 30 days vacation per year so you can go back home or um, travel somewhere on the Network days off. that Emirates fly to, yeah, it's, yep. it's very easy to keep keep a balance between the two. I agree. Uh, a lot of the time, my work and personal life do blend into one. Uh, you may be away on a trip, but you may be away with a group of friends, so you're enjoying that layover together. On behalf of Kate and myself, well, I hope we have answered a few of your questions today. And good luck with your application. Cheers. believes the more of our world we see, the richer we become. Fly Emirates. Hello tomorrow. Because of Mark Antony and Cleopatra. Because of handkerchiefs and cowboy movies. Because of letters and confetti. Because of strange names and familiar faces. Because hellos and goodbyes are so much more than arrivals and departures, we invite you to experience the Emirates Terminal at Dubai International Airport. Fly Emirates to six continents.